All right, Rich, ask me the question. Uh, what's the question? What do you got? What, what is it? Most important question that you just went through, right? Only thing that people want to know. Ask me the question. Uh, how, 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 what's the state of Eric Weddle's beard? Uh, sources tell me yes. that Eric Weddle's beard is roughly two inches long. Oh. And I would say two centimeters thick. So wow. I would not describe it as like one of those like Jim the Anvil Nightheart hanging beard. <laughs> but it is fairly bushy. Um, and look, I mean, it's, today is January something. Yeah. I don't know. 12th. And yeah. we got about a month before the Super Bowl. So like, if you take it where it is now, you project it forward through the Super Bowl. I think we could get like a real like, you know, bushy type beard action, like uh, you know some of the classics. I think he's in a good spot and something that this you know expect this to continue to grow. Well, classics are like you know uh, Rutherford B Hayes, Cough Drop Brothers, yep. or obviously Ryan Fitzpatrick. <laughs> that that's what we're talking about in terms of epic beards. What you about Kiesel? I feel like Kiesel had a good one. Okay, Brett Kiesel, oh, yeah, very good. good. I mean, please, my God. It's like uh, it's like Dan yeah. Haggerty, the redheaded dude from Game of Thrones. That's true. He had a good one. Oh yeah, Tormund. 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 All right. So you never watched Game of Thrones. I got it. You know what, man? I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. Les Snead is just. He's just constantly like. There's no. He's he. Is he ever inside the box? Because there, it's crazy. That so where where how did this come about? It just came about because Fuller's hurt and let's you know why not Weddle right. Is that the way this happened? Fuller's hurt, and, you know, Taylor Rapp is in concussion protocol. Uh, this really came together, I think, yesterday. Um, you know, it's funny. Do you follow Jalen Ramsey on Twitter? Sure. I would missed what he said, though, still. He tweeted, he, 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 at 1.30 a.m. <laughs> Jalen Ramsey has an ear to the personnel department of the Los Angeles Rams. Sure. He has been ahead of every crazy move they've made with <laughs> weird cryptic tweets. I also follow my good friend Jalen Ramsey on Twitter, and I will now be uh, following him even more closely mm. because when he tweets cryptic stuff, crazy things happen. And I would say this. like I listened to your clip of Weddle, and yes, he is done preparing for the season. He is done doing that long grind. That's not what this is. This is preparing for one game. And then maybe another game, and then maybe another game. This is very different. And, you know, how many snaps will he play? Will he play 60 snaps? I doubt it. But he's going to be there helping, and I imagine it will it will be beneficial. I love it. And I was reading out a list, too, of players who are going to be back in time for the playoffs. Um, you know, J.J. Watt expected to be back in that very game. Derrick Henry the week after. And then there's a trio of Packers, Bakhtiari played um, 20-some-odd snaps yep. in Week 18. Jair Alexander and Zadarius Smith today, right? Like, so uh, yeah. designated for a turn. Are we going to see all those Packers back, do you think, in a week and a half? Uh, also, some other significant news for the Green Bay Packers. Yes. Aaron Rodgers is practicing. Today is Wednesday, and Aaron Rodgers is practicing. So not only do you get David Bakhtiari back, you get – Jair Alexander probably back. You get Zadarius Smith probably back, which is massive. I mean, he is. It, it'll be like as a third down rusher, but that's okay. I mean, that's basically what Bob yeah. Miller is. And right. He has dramatic impact. And then Aaron Rodgers is practicing. And the reason I say that is because Rodgers hasn't practiced on a Wednesday in like a couple months. So this indicates that his little toe, his poor little toe, uh, is as healthy as it has been. So. Everyone is beaten up, and the Packers are the opposite. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.